I'm gonna teach you guys about an ancient secret bait that catches everything. You got it, babe. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. No freaking way. Woo! Oh, no! $200? Holy crap! Whoa. You did in the wrong one to save you. You're turning so red! Cut, cut, cut! Cut the camera! Stay tuned! Today we're fishing with a bait that's been around since at least 2000 BC. Salt preserved fish and meats. The ancient Egyptians were the first to realize the preservation possibilities of salt. They would salt their fish and other meats to keep them without refrigeration for extended periods of time. Back in the day, this type of preservation wasn't limited to just meat. Mummies were actually packaged in salt too. The reason salt works to preserve food is because sodium draws moisture out, drying them and making them possible to store. The process of creating salt-preserved seafoods and meats was considered a really special skill because they had to properly stop bacteria from growing on raw food. It took a lot of space, time, energy, people, and many steps to cure these delicate meats. Today, we're experimenting with our own salt-preserved seafood to see if it's good fishing bait. So this is the mantle here. This is an entire squid mantle, big old chunk of it, shrimp, and we've got clams. They're not fake at all. I don't use any artificial anything. These shrimps were fresh a couple of days ago, and now look at them. They're nice and tough. They smell amazing. They smell re like really fresh shrimp. They'll stay on the hook really well, and you don't have to refrigerate them. That's the best part. This is a special Arctic clam that's naturally colored this red color. This red color is really attractive to fish. The scent itself smells like fresh clam. It smells great. It's nice and tough, but not too tough. Now we've also got this squid mantle. Everyone knows squid is great bait. I like to use it by cutting into long strips like this. And remember guys, a little bit goes a long way here. All you really need is a little piece like this. I expect this squid to last for multiple fish. Just these four little pieces. I'll do the same thing, let's do clam strips. The shrimps I'm okay with leaving in half. I also have another kind of clam here. This is just a regular degular surf clam. They've got a great scent. They're very attractive for the fish. So for the rig we're using today, just the classic high-low rig. I've used these for all my life, and they've worked for so many countless fish in my lifetime. Aaron, you get to pick which ones we put on first. Me? Yeah, go ahead and pick them. I think try one squid and one arctic clam. Sure, one squid and one arctic clam. And I've got circle hooks here, just once through like that. Just once through, it looks so natural like this. Now this bottom one, this regular salted clam, and let's do a shrimp. Shrimp and clam, squid and clam. So I have two rods. One of them I'm gonna use just salted baits. The other one, I'm gonna go catch some of my favorite bait, which is called ghost shrimp. And we're gonna attach some ghost shrimp, and we're gonna attach some salted baits. That's my secret right there, is to use a combination of fresh bait and salted bait. Because when you put out just fresh bait, a lot of times little fish Heck all your bait and it just, it's all gone. And the salted baits is when it's on the hook, it's a lot harder for the little fish to peck everything off. So you end up having a piece of bait on your line at all times, even if they peck all the fresh bait off. And if you've never seen a ghost shrimp before, they are the freakiest looking things on earth. It looks like a prehistoric looking like shelled beast that comes out of the sand. It's a really creepy looking bait, but the fish freaking love it. Here it is, the freaky looking ghost shrimp. We're gonna hook it through the head first, then we're gonna just hook it through as many times as we can just to keep it on the hook. The best part about using these high-low rigs is you have a chance to catch two fish at a time, or you have two chances to catch one fish. We've got our elastic thread here. When you wrap it around your bait, it's harder for the fish to pick it off, and you can cast your bait out further without it flying off. So we've got the ghost shrimp, and then I'll put the squid on it like this. You just want a little bit for it to smell, and in case the ghost shrimp gets bitten off, and then I'll put a piece of arctic clam on the bottom. Now, that's a perfect bite size. Anything with the mouth at least as big can just suck it up and bite it and eat it in one bite. I'm ready to go fishing. Big 
I love whitings. Me too. Nice, bit the clam. That's our fish sandwich for lunch this week. Yeah. That was right away too, so I'm, I'm hopeful. I think the reason why people don't use the salted bait as much is one, because it's very challenging to make. It's really challenging to make correctly because it goes bad if you don't do the right process. It starts to stink. It starts to like take up a lot of space and it's heavy. And a lot of people, they just don't know how to make it. It took me years to really figure it out. I've been, I've been experimenting for many years on the perfect consistency. And I'm really proud to say that the salted baits that we make are very shelf stable. I've had a pack of these baits for over a year in my refrigerator and I'm still using it. It still works great. And that is really a game changing move for, for my fishing arsenal. I love using these baits because I don't have to worry about getting fresh bait all the time. This bait works really well, and the best part is it's completely 100% all natural, real bait. Not some rubber crap that they put chemicals in to, to like formulate for fish to want to eat. This is the real deal. This is the real stuff. If you want some real luxury salted baits, check out my website, hayskipperfishing.com. Thing's massive. Took all the bait off. It even took my squid. Yeah. go run to it, it's gone. <laughs> what is that? Get it already! I don't want to set it and bring it in without knowing that it's on there. It's so true. Oh, oh, that's something. That is something. That line went completely slack. Yeah, it's kicking. Kicking up dust? Kicking up dust. What is it? Yes! Another big whiting! Nice! Oh, we are gonna be eating good through all those bites. I still have the bait on here. You see it got chewed up, but it did not get taken off the hook. That's why I love the salt baits. That's why this is my secret weapon, because you can just keep fishing it without having to bring your rod back. People have been enjoying eating delicious whiting forever, pretty much. I mean, I, I think that people have always loved to eat this fish. It's a very flaky white meat. It's a beautiful silver fish. It's not fishy. It's very delicate and very fragile, the meat, but it's so delicious. And a lot of people don't even realize how good of a fish it is until they try it for themselves. So I'm going to put this in the cooler. And let's keep fishing. Oh, look. So it's a sand dollar. Nice. It might be another one. Two of them. Awesome. That's the smallest one we've ever found, isn't it? Oh, I got a bite. Gone. Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be right here. You sure it's gone? No, I have squid on both of them, so we're good. Ah! Gone! <laughs> On the squids, doubled up. I want to show you this, look at this. It 
doesn't come off. You can just keep casting it over and over again and keep catching fish. That's the best part. That's the secret ancient bait right here. There we go. Two big fish. Jumbo Wumbo. These are so tasty. We're gonna make up a great meal now. If you'd like to try some salted baits, I personally make these myself with Aaron. Now what I like to do is I like to put them into my box of salt and my special mixture here, and that will keep it all fresh and delicious for all the fish to eat, and I'm easily able to just pick what I want. And if you wanna support us, I made this to help you guys get on some fish. Ooh, it's taking her down the beach. What is it? It's going down. Sugar, we're going down. It's peeling drag. Watch out. Ooh, it looks like it could be a pompano. Oh, we got it! No! Oh, no, I see it. Oh. Dang it! Uh, that was a big pompano, babe. Sucks. Oh, crap. All right, well, that's good. It's good news that there's more around. Get it out. Get it out Get there, it out baby. There. Get it out there. Yeah. Oh no, this is not a pompano. It's a big whiting. Whoa. But yours was a pompano. I saw the black tip on top. Do you think that's a bluefish or pompano? On what? On yours? Yeah. No, I saw it. It was a pompano. Oh my gosh. It was definitely a pompano. This one's huge too. This is a big whiting. Look at that. So we we're gonna put some salted clam on this one. And this is just going to be salted clam. I mean, once it gets wet, look at that. It needs such an awesome texture. Comes right back to life. And the color, I'm telling you, is so appealing. You want to just have enough so that the fish can fit it in its mouth like that. Here's the shrimp. This works so well, too, for all sorts of fish. And with the salted baits, you don't even need the bait elastic. They're tough enough to just cast out as hard as you want without it flying off the hook. I feel like this just got hit. Fight! First one? Yeah. Oh yeah. It ran towards me. It's a huge whiting! It's a huge whiting, yeah! Holy cow! That's a big one! That's a bull whiting! I think this is the biggest one today. For that hook, I had a piece of clam one of these red clams and a little piece of uh, ghost shrimp. Look at that beauty. Just as I was saying, where are the fish? We got someone knocking on the door. I'm trying to guess what it is. There's a lot of head shakes. But it's not peeling any drag. I'm thinking, ooh, it's, it's starting to shake its head. Ooh, I see it, I see it. Ooh. Oh. Did I just double up on pompanos? Did I just double up on pompanos just now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh! Heck yeah! <laughs> Woo! Double pompanos! 
nose. No freaking way. I bit up my baits. Oh yeah, these are keepers too. Two at a time. These are nice pompanos right here. Two keepers. That's best case scenario. Woo! Why do you like pompano so much? Oh, they're so delicious. You can eat them so many different ways. And during the fall run, the, the meat is even butterier. Even more buttery because they're fattening up for the winter. So these are really delicious fish to eat right now. So I got both of these lines out really far now. Because that's where I got the double pompano. Anything gets bitten. Shit! Okay. It's so close. You take it? Yeah, it's okay. Ugh. Ooh! Yeah! Yay. This is something big. I'm hoping it's more pompadoes. If so, I know they're out far. A lot of line out there. It's coming to your right. It's moving all the way to the right. Come this way. No, I'm gonna stay in one place and reel it in from here. Oh. Because I, I found when you when you're fighting bigger fish, as you walk down the beach, it's pretty much you're like walking a dog. If you stay in one place and just bring it in, it's much better. Peeling my drag. But look, I'm letting it fight right here before I land it. You don't want it to go on another run right at your feet. Wow, that's a big one. Look at that. That's a good size one. See, you gotta let it fight in the surf. You almost landed it. I think it just had a little bit too much energy. They have so much energy. They can just keep swimming and swimming. And it looks small, but they're really thick. And they're really fast. That's why they're so fun to catch. These fish, they love to eat crustaceans and clams and different kinds of shrimps. They also love to eat crabs. They like to eat a lot of different things. That's why I have so many different kinds of baits. I like to use different kinds of baits because sometimes they want shrimp. Sometimes they want clam. <sighs> This one wanted the clam. Yeah. This is a big one. Beautiful, first of all, and then it got bitten right away. Oh, it's looking white still. Oh, but still, the fish dance worked. <laughs> epic, epic, epic dance, Aaron. Good job. Uh, wow, that was so much fun. Well, we haven't gotten a bite for like 10 minutes now. I think it's we've got enough fish. Let's let's head home. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy that the bait worked. It was a ton of fun to be on the beach and catch all these fish, and now we're gonna go home and cook them up. The best combination I found today was to use the fresh bait plus the salty bait. And I ended up catching a whole ton of fish at the end plus the pompano. Really excited to bring these back and cook it up. Yep. Look at that.
at these nice cuts here. It's Yeah, I'm hungry. Uh, this looks incredible. You mind grabbing the soy sauce and the wasabi? This? Yeah, and the soda sauce too, when I have a chance. Yes. Small batch tamari, which is just a soy sauce with a little bit of um, sugar in it. You want some of that, Erin? Definitely. And then we'll do some wasabi. This one's like really this spicy. This one's super spicy, yeah. so we gotta be careful with this one. Right. Oh, that was a lot of work. Yeah, but it was fun. I had a great time with you. I see why it's so expensive to get sushi because it takes so freaking long to make it. <laughs> but it's really fun. It's kind of like kind of like an art project. Yeah, it was fun. Which one do you want to try first? I feel like we should go this way. Okay, I agree. You agree? This kind of leans us into the chirac. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, so let's try one of these first. Yeah. yeah. Try that fat piece. No, try that fat piece. This piece. Yeah. Alright, dip it. Dip it? Alright, cheers. So extremely buttery. Oh my gosh. It's so buttery. And that's what one day old pumpkin tastes like. That's incredible. Really fresh. The first one we just ate, this is called sashimi. This nigiri. Is nigiri. This is nigiri that we seared. This is sushi with avocado. Soba. Soba noodles. Chirashi. Chirashi rolls. Cool. Yes. We just tried the sashimi. It was incredible. Okay, if we were to eat out, how much do you think this meal would have Ooh, cost? Ooh, $200. $200? $200? Holy least. crap, really? Yes, I think like sure. probably $30, $35 for the trashy bowl. Each. $70. Soba, $12. Appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I think more like, more like eight dollars for that for that portion. One roll with pompano and avocado. Mm, Twelve dollars. And then I think 90. like I think like eight dollars a piece of these. Ooh, or seven dollars. Yeah, probably eight. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to a Japanese restaurant that served pompano sushi. No, that's another thing. All right, next piece. Let's try. This is the nigiri, which is just the piece of fish on top of the rice. Cheers. Mmm. High five. I wish my dad, <laughs> my dad, Mr. Eric, would have really enjoyed this. But they drove back to Maryland today, and we have all this pompano to eat by ourselves, so we've got a lot of different ways that we're gonna cook it up. So we gotta get creative. I don't wanna get bored of this fish. It's such a delicious fish, it's such it's a great meat. The Let's sear. try the sear, yeah. Oh yeah, look gorgeous. at that, look at that sear on there. Oh my God. Hmm. <laughs> That was the best one. That one's the best one. Oh my god. We're on to something here. In your nose. Like. 
the sesame taste? Do you taste the sesame in the tamari? It tastes like something. I don't know what and it is. And the butter, like when you sear it like that, it really gets the flavor of the fish out too at the same time. So you get the best Whoa. of both worlds. Yeah, because it's like partially raw, partially cooked. We're going to sear the butter. other one right now. <laughs> With the sesame seeds on it. Well, I think we use about two pompano for this entire That's meal. Better. And we have like six, six pompano left. What do you think you want to do with the rest? I want to grill one with bread and olive oil. Grill it and then eat it with bread and olive oil. Oh yeah, some, let's, get some, let's get some good olive oil, like the, the good, good stuff. stuff. I say towards the end, let's start frying it into Ooh. like a beer batter taco. Ooh, that sounds good, right? <laughs> yeah, really good. I like these eggs on top. These are like little caviars. Mmm. Wow. That was a knee slapper. Is this for soba? Soba's next. Is it soba sauce? Mmm. Those little eggs were good. Yeah, they're good, right? This is called soba. We're gonna eat this cold. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna dip it into the soba sauce. Take a strand of it like this. Mix it around. Mmm. I love it. Mmm. I love slurping down some noodle. I just dipped it in my Oh, you put wasabi in it too? You dipped in the wrong one, the sushi one. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're turning so red. Cut, cut, cut. Cut the camera. Uh, that was spicy, huh? You yeah, dipped it in the wasabi sauce. <laughs> it was like condensed wasabi. I like that feeling though. I'm, gonna, I'm going for that actually. That I like that reaction. I want to feel that. Woo. All right, I'm dipping mm. it in the wasabi. So much better than the soba sauce. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Makes me feel alive. Trashy bowl time. Mm. Are you supposed to mix it? You can do whatever you'd like. Or you just like eat it individually? You can do whatever you like. I just want to eat one. But I one. eat it individually like this. You just take a little bit of everything. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All the pickles with the fish mm -hmm. and the rice is so good together. Avocado and fish together. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Kira, you want some? Come here. <laughs> Kira. Kira wants some sushi too. Mm -hmm. I don't think she likes sushi though. Kira, you want to try some? No way. <laughs> don't lie. All right, what if I dip it in soy sauce? No, she doesn't like it. Now you wasted the fish, Kira. I'm gonna have to wash this off. Okay, so which one was your favorite? You know, it's tough to answer because I feel like I had a really different experience with all of them. <laughs> like starting from here and ending at the Chirashi Bowl was perfect. Ugh, I have to say the seared. I think the seared I too. To I was thinking the, the same thing. Like there was just such an element of like that smoky charred flavor mm -hmm. that really just like filled up my whole head. It was so good. And it was still soft and buttery from the raw, you know, fish. I'm gonna have to take another one right now. Pompano is just incredible. I will It's I will so enjoy. buttery. Look at this. It's so delicious. Come on, let's eat another one right now. Well, first I wanna give a toast and a shout out. Ah! I was gonna give a toast and a <laughs> shout out to our subscribers for watching our show all the time. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> First, you don't have to dip it again. It's okay. Let's give a shout out to our subscribers for always tuning in. Definitely. Cheers to you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We Hope love you enjoyed you. this video. See you next week.